This is Traveler Theopolis. I lost some video. I'm not sure how much was in the last part of the video that I lost. With him, he sent me, he gave me the quest to build the science terminal here, hire the scientist. He also had me go to an abandoned building and in exchange, when I finished with the abandoned building, he gave me the recipes to the nine storage containers. He gave me recipes to the microprocessor. And I have Apollo calling me now. I'm going to go He's in outer space. XF. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important life and more important things. That's kind of a lame perspective right there. Life is not about dominating others. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants in space stations to get the technology you need. End communication. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift, my little investment into our partnership. Okay, personal force field. All right, so it wants me to raid abandoned buildings for nanites. I'm probably going to go back to working on the base quest. I have microprocessors. The expanding the base, the overseer wants me to construct microprocessors using uh, the recipe I got from the Corvax. But actually if you hit X you can look in your container without powering it I don't see any microprocessors in there I don't see any on the ship alright I guess we'll have to construct them uh, I'll need two carbon nanotubes to make two of them because you see the zero out of two on the lower right hand corner. Microprocessor and another one. Chromatic metal comes in handy. Alright, it should tell me to return to the overseer you see in the lower right hand corner of the screen. If you put the thing over the battery, you can see its power. So it's losing power, even though it says the word storing. I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The overseer asks for the microprocessors so they can finish the plans for the weapons terminal. All right, I give him the two microprocessors I made. You've done so well, friend. I'm so very happy. All right, uh, I need 25 pugnium to make the weapons terminal. Now imagine this, friend. So the Gek is also kind of evil. Listen to what he says. A life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. 
Well, some life forms, if you punish them, they will resent you for it and eventually pay you back. So it is with the sentinels and their attack, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The overseer requires me to kill sentinels and bring back their pugnia. All right, I'll accept. The sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be freed from their constant harassment. All right, so how much pugnium do we need? Let's see, objectives updated. Acquire pugnium. Now look, you see there's two dots down here. If you arrow back, you see your other secondary missions. First, um, let's see, weapons research. Hire an armor. All right, I wanted to keep these two open. So I'll set up a terminal next to the sleeping Corvax. If I can fit it in here. All right, it looks like I need to make another, another room. From the inside, you can actually connect these. So if you're in a bad, toxic environment, you can build from the inside. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the battery is at. I'm curious what our power situation is. 36,000, so there's plenty there. And if you look out here, you can see, because I did it above the level of the water, I don't have to worry about building into any objects. Okay, the weapons terminal. Oh, before I do that, got the water here. Let's put a corridor here. corridor here. I'll wait. Um. Oh, I need pure ferrite. So let's take some of the ferrite. Turn it into pure ferrite. Technology recharge. And in fact, we can make inventory space by leaving the other refiner in here. So let's put our refiner down. Actually, while we're here, let's make an oxygen harvester. Put the oxygen harvester next to the container here. So you go into the harvester and you just put carbon in there. Technology recharge. Let's see, so it's about the 14 minute mark on one of my clocks. 14 minute, 15 seconds. Let's see how long it takes to get 250 oxygen. So I think two solar panels and one battery is enough to run a lot of stuff. Okay, now we have pure ferrite. And we can make the straight corridor. This is so we can expand the base later on. It's good to plan ahead and leave room for expanding the base. I don't need a science, I need a weapons terminal. I need 25 
Pugnium for that. I believe I have Pugnium in that container, so hit X. There's 257. Alright, weapons terminal. On the log. Now it has acquired Pugnium and has me return to the Overseer. For weapons, hire a base army. Let's let's hire the armor first. Okay, I'm at 45 at 16 minutes. So it took two minutes to make 45 of them. Let's see. 20 carbon. I should make solar panels for this. We're looking for the armor. There's a gun there that would indicate the armor. So we'll go there. Before we go, I notice sometimes the oxygen disappears from the harvester. So we'll take the 60 oxygen at the 17 minute mark. So in three minutes, it made that oxygen. So it takes a little while. Space stations, Opcorp Prime, War. Right there, potential armor. This guy here, you see the guns above his head? Your Gek servant told me you were coming, Interloper. It is an honor to meet one whose bloodlust exceeds even my own. Gra, we shall kill together for the glory of Herc and our ancestors. The great sentinel hunt begins. Come, let us inhale the requisite gra gra. The Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beings are too alien, too unusual for me to make a judgment on that basis. No, it is the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture. When they smile at me and tell me it is an honor for us to meet, I believe them. Warrior Midios promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. If you didn't make the weapons terminal, the word accept would be grayed out. So I accept. Gra, I will rejoice in the blood harvest, but tell me, do I need to pay for my own transit? Okay, he should be back at the base now. Now you see, if I had the teleporter close to the building, the ship might be inside the building. Journey milestone meant 30 aliens, three stars. I guess it's one star for 10 aliens you meet. All right, now actually I'm gonna switch the mission to expanding the base. Return to the Overseer. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh, their Pugnium. The Overseer, in something of a state of excitement, asked me for the Pugnium I have gathered, which I actually took out of my storage container from the Sentinels and Corrupted Sentinels we fought earlier. All right, I give him the Pugnia. Manager Denasia presents me with a reward, as I knew they would. Things are aligning. We are ready now for a Gek farmer to join us. Indeed, I have already prepared their contract. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalize their workstation. All right, people, while I, I'm gonna get the farmer, I'm going to do a lot of the stuff required for the farmer. While I do that, I'm going to gather the different materials on the different planets, and I can actually repair my exotic ship 
that had all all the broken parts in it. Um, okay, manager Danasia grows in confidence and seeks again to expand my home. I find it hard to disagree with them, for a farmer would open up a world of possibilities. The overseer needs selanium to complete the agricultural terminal plant. Selanium grows on scorched planets and requires hazmat gauntlets to harvest. I accept. Selanium is not easy to acquire in the wild, but this only proves the value of recruiting a farmer. Okay, first let's make the mission is set on that. Second, I know I need hazmat gauntlets and I don't have any more slots on my tech suit. So right now I'll put the Pugnium back in the storage container. He gave me a movement module. I don't have spots on my suit, so I'll put that in the storage container. Now to get more slots, you can either go to space systems or oh, let's look and see if it's still making oxygen. It is. It's got 126 in there now, so I'll take that. It's at the 23 minute mark. So about nine minutes. Um, I'm gonna take missions that give um, pods as rewards. Let's do it on the camera, um, in the camera galaxy so that maybe we'll end up on the planet that we need to take the photo at and we can fi finish that mi mission too. Okay, exosuit upgrade chart for collecting 250 pyrite. Wow, a multi-tool expansion slot for scanning flora. Let's get the exosuit expansion slot right now. Profiteering. Start mission. All right, we need 250 pyrite. Don't I have pyrite on me? I need a hundred and something more. Pyrite is usually on... Let's do this. Let me show you something in the catalog guide. Materials and items. Pyrite is... Um... It's exotic. Yeah, oh no, yeah, it's raw materials exotic. I left click the word pyrite. Alright, it says pyrite rich planet de detected. It'd be ironic. Oh, there's pyrite on the abandoned planet. Ironically. Let's, uh, alright, let's go. To, uh, let's, actually, let's go into the space. No, alright, uh, yeah, alright. I was thinking of warping to the base and then going to the planet. I'm using the left shift key to go a little quicker. Space bar to warp. Oh, why on earth? It must have been green and it interpreted my E to land. All right, well, it won't cost me anything to take off from there, at least. Target practice. I do have it set on an easy setting. Destroyed 15 centimeters. Just curious if there's anything different on these things. Well, all right, let's do the terminal first. 
Alarms blare, sounding out against my intrusion. The facility is remotely operated, and no one responds to the klaxon's call. The terminal indicates the facility was undertaking a specialized piece of research. Oria Samminu, blah, blah. Okay, so that's another language. It's asking for manual confirmation of its experiment. Now, if it's a Corvax system, they like experiments, so I'll continue the experiment. I tap a few commands into the terminal, authorizing it to continue. There's a pause, then a rumble, fire belches from the hopper, smoke seeps from the terminal keyboard. The entire system shuts down. Oops. Standing decreased, Corvax won. Okay, they're not happy about that. So it was green for a second over here somewhere? Here. Right, we must have gotten the 250. Navigational Yeah, we have 250, but I don't want to be out of pyrite. So let's go after some more. Client delivery key presented. Deliver item. Incoming storm. Return to mission agent. in front of the blue entrance. Mission complete, so I'll click on that, and I'll click hand in mission. And there's my exosuit upgrade chart. So now, 
You see the red and white symbol is switch. And I gained a level. Expanding the base is what we're working on. E to plot route. That's kind of ugly the way that thing sticks out there. to get away from the space station, space bar, to gauge pulse. it have me on that it's putting that up. Oh, for Selanium. First, I need the hazmat. Spaceship close, yeah, mm -hmm. starship. Protection Notice it takes oxygen to make the antimatter happen. Put that up here. Oh, it's uh You see this sixty eight percent thirty two twelve? Let's do this. It says a hundred and four and twenty two. Now it says 131 and 37. All right, hazmat gauntlets. That's done. All right, next episode, we'll continue with the expanding the base.